BMT with ingredients from the supermarket. There are so many to choose from. Surimi salad on green. I have a sour cream, a mayonnaise, scallion, shallot, the surimi in there. I put some lemon juice, a little bit of Tabasco. You mix it all together and you put that on green and you have an absolutely wonderful, wonderful salad. In second, here we are right in there. A few black olive on top. You don't have to wait for crab to be in season. You can do that year round at your market. I am Jacques Pepin and this is Fast Food My Way. Happy cooking. Production funding for this series has been brought to you by Cuisinart, with the next generation of food processors. From bread dough, to pizza, to stir fries. We do the work to save you time. Cuisinart, the next generation. And by Scharfenberger, makers of fine artisan dark chocolates, recipes available at scharfenberger.com. And by Spectrum Organics, a purveyor of fine culinary oils and condiments. Spectrum, the taste of goodness. And by OXO Good Grips, makers of kitchen tools that make everyday living easier. You know, when everything is proportioned in the kitchen, sometimes it makes your life easier, especially if you have a big party to do and you have 30 or 40 people to do. So today we're going to do mini savory cheesecake on arugula salad. Then a steam crowd package with a, with a sauce made of pimento, pearl squash saute, kind of caramelized, and a tapioca banana coconut pudding. And I think that... Uh, hey, quick... don't start without me. Oh, okay. I'm I brought start mine. Without you. How are you? I'm going to cook. You went to the cellar? Yeah, I always go to the cellar. It's okay. your cellar, not mine. <laughs> so we are going those mini cheesecake. Remember when we used to do cheesecake? Your yes. Go your godfather love cheesecake right? i know so those, those, those are those are savory cheesecake to a bit of the same idea uh, but uh, i'd like you to butter it i'm gonna butter it and i'm gonna make you some breadcrumbs okay yeah do breadcrumbs on this okay so because you want butter on the outside breadcrumbs Ooh, making a, mess. a thick enough part and the reason is that you want to be able to unmold it you know so i have a package of whipped uh cream cheese here which is like eight okay, ounces don't say anything too exciting because i'm going to turn this thing on okay Why do you use whipped cream cheese and not regular cream cheese? It's uh, it's softer, it's easy to, uh, and it's very light and hairy, you know, so I like it. Oh, okay. About a quarter of a cup of the sour cream in it. And I am going to generously butter, because one should always be generous with butter. And I'm going to put two eggs in it. And it doesn't matter that you don't beat them before you put them in? No, and you okay. beat them, you break them flat like that, it in, right? Mm-hmm. You know that, right? I do. Oh, good. So where is my granddaughter? She is at school, having a wonderful school. time. Good. She's always having a wonderful time. Well. Is that too much? You said generous. No, 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 no. no? You, okay. you, you want to have a lot in there, yes, so that um, it comes out easy out of the mold, you know? Okay. So you want that to be, of course, smooth. You know what? We could do that in the food processor as well. You can put all right. of that stuff. Okay, so here, salt, pepper in there. Very generously buttered little it's, dishes. But you don't go, when, when we fill this up, we don't fill it up all the way, right? Because it's going to be puffy. Yeah, it's going to be puffy. Okay. See, up to that point, I could put sugar, I could put whatever in it, and I would have a conventional cheesecake. But oh. then we get, we get savory here. All right. Okay. So you want to give me a little bit of parsley to put in there. So I'm and, chop uh, it. If or you want to chop it just very coarsely, I'm going to put a couple of pieces of blue cheese in there. This is a beautiful blue cheese from uh, from around, not too far from here. Oh, good. Yeah, I put some, and we'll put some more in the. And we'll put some on top. Yes, we'll put some more in the. Now you could put so other types of cheese. So now you're not going to put sugar in there. <laughs> okay. Good. You're doing good there. I know you're astounded, I know. You want to put some in there? Do you want all of it or do you want about half of it? Well, all of it. 
That will be enough to put on top there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, just for color. Good. I don't want to taste this. Because it, it does, good? it looks really nice. So. Mm, that's for. good. Is it good? I have a rubber spatula here. So let's put. So the, you want to have like, I don't know, it's 80% full. Well, even if it's full, you know, it, it goes up like a, like a souffle, but uh, right. it goes down after. What goes up must come hey, down. Hey, you know what? What? We forgot the breadcrumbs. You forget the breadcrumbs to put in this here? They're right here. Well. I think it'd be okay. We can put them on top. No, because it's to help oh. you to unmold. Okay, so if it sticks, it's your fault. Okay, I can live with that. Do you want to put breadcrumbs on top or no? Well, breadcrumbs doesn't make any difference now because, as I say, it's to make a coating so it helps in the unmolding. But it'll taste really good. Well, we can also serve them directly into the container without unmolding it. Okay, so okay. I went too fast there. And well, we you put, go very fast. let me put a little piece of uh, blue sheet that you, you push inside here. Oh. Ooh, that'll be really good. Yeah, another piece here. And okay, so the oven's preheated and I'm gonna go put this in. And now you can put that in the oven, yes, about about 375 degree oven. It takes okay. about 20 minutes. Okay. Squash. Next we're going to do butternut squash. About one inch pieces. Okay. Usually I take this, I cut it in half, and I put it in the oven and I don't feel it. No, in the oven, this is one of the best recipe, you know? Just in half, but you see, this is Shelly very good too. too. Yes. Well, my granddaughter eats a lot of vegetables, right? She does. She's a good okay. vegetarian. You're still peeling? I'm not, I'm done. See, look, okay. wow, hey. Okay. Here, yeah. yeah, let's put that in there. All right, let me give you some butter in here. Uh. You want to put uh, a good cup of uh, apple cider. Right, right now. And a couple of tablespoons of uh, and a couple of tablespoons of uh, apple vinegar. You want to put salt, pepper in it. Okay. And uh, and a dash of sugar, even. Yeah. Okay. Oh, how about some onions? Yeah, that's it. Onion too. I'll give you the onion. You have your sugar there. And what you would want to do first is to cook it so it's softened, right? And when it's soft, then we remove the lid and we cook it without the lid until there is no more liquid and it starts to become caramelized, you know? A great dish for, uh, for Thanksgiving. Oh. Wait for your onion. Onion goes well in it because there is nothing better than caramelized onion. Yes, that is too. very true. And onions just goes, I mean, what does onion not okay. go in? You're on full speed here. I'm on full speed. Can I clean up your mess now? I was, thank okay, you. Okay, so you can't cover it. <laughs> That's my mess too, you know. Next, we're going to do the fish. Okay, I'll go get it from the refrigerator. Okay, so. We're going to wrap that in, uh, I put that in water. This is just plain water. You put it as to, uh, it's softened in water. You know, it doesn't really take too long. Less than a minute. And when it gets wet. Okay, Papa, I'm right behind you. You know this. those. You've used those, right? I have, but you know what? I have to tell you, the ones I find are always square. Oh. So, you, so you trim. I don't know how to use those. I'm sorry. You, you have to trim them to make them round. But, here, I'm gonna put the fish here. No, it's fine. Okay. When they are wet like that, they continue getting soft on the table. Huh. You know? Look at that. So, so now, what we're going to do, we're no. going to, to do those package first. Okay. So, why don't I give you the, the fish? I have one here. I want you to put a little bit of salt and pepper on the fish. Okay, we're one piece and a piece of basil, I think. And then we put a, a piece of basil. You, put, you want to put, uh, Salt on both sides. Remember, 
You see, it's soft. On the yeah. other hand, you, 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 you don't softer. really want to leave it too long in the water. The reason is that it becomes so soft, and then you have a problem. It tear apart, you know, very easily. You know what? We have to put a nice a basil leaf of basil, there? and we should put it underneath. The reason is that when you fold it, I'm letting the you package. do the folding part. No, but, uh, look. And it'll stay? Christmas package. Yeah, you, and you fold That's it That's about as nice as my Christmas packages look. <laughs> you see? Oh, that'll be really pretty. So, let's put this here. Okay. Also, you look at the fish, you see? You see that part of the fish here? That's not see as pretty. See the part which is just under the skin, darker. This is the part to touch the bone. You want to see that part wider. So okay. you put this one here, you can fold that. Not like this. No, I'm not <laughs> kidding. That's so mean. <laughs> okay. So here it is. And then when we steam them, we're going to put them seam side down. Right? Yes, exactly. Okay. I need oh, yeah, a piece one. of basil. Okay. Here it is. Another leaf of basil like this. Yeah, this way. Okay. You can put tarragon or other type of herb, you know, but that gives you a nice flavor in the middle of it. So, a large, I have a large bamboo steamer here, and you know, I'm afraid often when you put stuff in there, it tends to stick. So you can put a leaf of cabbage or a couple of leaves of lettuce, anything and in the there. And the steam will just come through and it's okay? Yeah, yeah, because I mean, look, we're not uh, really covering the whole uh, thing, so. Okay. If you say so, then it is true. I do believe you. Are you making fun of my I accent? I am not. Okay. <laughs> I would not. Okay. All right, so that's it. And then I'm going to cover paper, this. Cover that. And, and I will put it to steam. To and put the heat. The I did. heat is on high, right? Yep. Do you want more so water in you here? You want to be sure that you have a wok like this where all of the water is really under the fish itself. That is, you don't want to put a small, st a small steamer in the middle of that because all the water boils on the outside and nothing goes into your fish. Oh, that makes sense. So, the sauce. Uh, I have the regular pimiento, you know, that we call. You want to cut it into pieces. Across, like this. With a little bit of the juice, I'll keep. Salt, pepper, I'm putting there. I want you to, yeah, you put that in there. Yep. Pepper. I'm gonna put extra water in it. You can put anything you want in it. I would like a sip Okay. Of and I want to emulsify that, you know, with a hand blender or uh, in a small blender to make. Remember that this is red pepper which has been cooked, that you can find in your supermarket. Loose sometime in, uh, in jar, sometime in, uh, in a can, and it's basically red pepper. I think this is about good. You think so? I think so. so and this... I turned on the heat. Yeah, they're soft. I'll take two out. Well, then you can take the lid out of it. Okay. Put it upside down, you can put it here. And uh, I am going to warm that up, because that should be served. Did you put a little bit of olive oil? I didn't. Yeah, I oh, I forgot Can the I, olive oil. It's okay, I put it in. Okay, thank you. Okay. Good cold, And really. I didn't do Look salt. Look at that beautiful color. It's I put really salt pretty. on paper. Okay. And then Here. we're going to warm that up, and Just after that... I think it's okay. Hmm? All right, food tie off. So you can see, start caramelizing a little bit. On the outside. It's very hot. It is. So this is actually now starting to sizzle. Yeah, that's and what that's you want. And that's where you're going to get the caramelization and all of that. Yeah. You want to taste this? Julia used to say taste. Taste. Taste, taste, taste. Taste, See, That's really I, good. I put, water, I put water in it. And I think it needs a maybe. little bit more salt. Okay. Okay. So there. Turn that off. Turn this off. Okay. So then we're going to put butter. Yeah. Why would you? Why didn't you put the butter in before? Because I have a nice taste of fresh butter here, not melted or cooked. You're you know, going to tell me not to mix better. it so it can actually caramelize? 
Yes. <laughs> <Which> go, okay. <laughs> yeah, to go the side. We saw it. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> okay, let me see that. You see, it will change, will change color here. And if we had cooked it that way, that wouldn't happen? No. no okay. And it's emulsified here, you see. This is neat here. You just push on the button. Ooh. And you can wash this. I like that. Taste it. I'll taste first. Okay. Okay. Mm. So let's see. You see the outside here? Yeah. That's beautiful. Yeah. Doesn't take that much. That's longer. Now I didn't time the fish. Maybe I think let's I check can it out. smell it. I you can, can like smell, smell it's cooked. fish. Now what are you feeling for when you do that? Well, it should go through without too much resistance, although your mother likes it practically raw in the center. But that's 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 basically done. Okay. So I think we so can. So maybe we'll do. Would you like? Should we put this in a dish first, or do you want to do the fish first? No, no. We are going to uh, caramelize it a little more. Okay. I want more of that crystallization. But I'm going to go behind you, and I'm going to put this here. Yeah. I want to get maybe a little bit of. Uh, uh, what do we? Have? You want to do, do a chiffonade? I'm going to do a chiffonade of basil for you. Okay, here it is. So. See, and I was doing this all nice for the fish. I was going to surprise you. Look at the color that's of that. Shirt, that's a huh? really beautiful color. Yeah. Which one looks good to you? I like this one. Okay. Would you, do you want me to put this in there now? Or do you want to, oh no, it's to put on top. You barely see the, the you know, the rice paper outside. You know, because of the, because it becomes totally transparent, you know. Oh, this cool. So this is our scrot package. It looks beautiful. Yeah. And the caramelized squash, I think, are fine too. They look really nice. Oh, wow. It smells so wonderful. It really smells like fall. Yeah. When we have, like, big fleshy fish like that and the red peppers and everything, it smells like fall to me. Please don't tell me I'm doing it wrong. Please don't tell me I'm doing it wrong. You're doing incredible, <laughs> Titan. Incredible. And, and this is, of course, the butternut squash saute. Great. Look at a place yeah. where... Uh, whoop. Those look beautiful. Yeah. They would have been a lot better with breadcrumbs. Oh, well. I know, it's my fault. They would only Sorry. have been slightly different. <laughs> See, the outside would be brown there and all that. But oh, otherwise, okay, I see not that mean. much different. Now, you know, you could serve them. They're still slightly wet inside, which is good. Right. You know, I like got cheesecake. And uh, but we could uh, serve them this way, hot, directly on the plate. But then and mold them, serve them on the salad when they are lukewarm, which we can do. You so can you, would, you would either serve them like this or let them rest for a little while and yeah, then take yeah. them out? And serve them lukewarm, yes. That's it. Is that enough? Yeah, I think that's plenty. Okay. So, you know, I think I'll are you get gonna, it out. You're going like to do that crazy thing. And oh. back this way. Oop. I lost that piece. That's okay. This is for you. <laughs> this is for you and me. Oh, good. It's too hot. Here. Yeah. But that looks should, good. Should cool up a little bit. Oh boy, I just had a piece of blue cheese here. Well, that can't be a bad thing. You have a glass of wine. Mmm. Very good. Mmm. Ooh. That is really good. Okay. And so, this is our mini savory cheesecake on our regular salad, right? Yeah. Let's do the tapioca pudding now. Okay. Tapioca pudding. 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 Tapioca and, and then you're going to do I'm coconut milk? A cup of coconut milk in there. So this has to come to a boil. Where is it? So let's bring that to a boil. And then after that in there, we're going to put honey, lime, lime oh, rice. Nice. This is uh, Are dry, cranberries? dry cherries, I think. Mmm. Oh, that's yeah. going to be really good. Or you can put dry cranberry, dry cherries, and then banana. When that thing comes to a boil, uh, sprinkle it on top. 
Oh, so you, okay. You pour it and whisk it at the same time. Yeah. You know, I think I need a little more tapioca here. Okay. Where is it? I. Give me like another, uh, well, yeah, so that. Like this much? Yeah, go ahead. No? Good. Okay. I have a beautiful microplane here. Should be going this way. Yeah. This is it. That's really, oh wow, it's done. Yeah, no, it's, that's why it's called Minute Tapioca. Yes, okay, it's not called Two Hour Tapioca. <laughs> okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut in front of you, put okay. that in ice, just to cool it off, you know. We'll cut off in a, in a few minutes here. Then we can continue. What you want to do after we're gonna is do to put your rind. Zests. Yes. And we're going to do some I honey. I have some of this, some honey. Does it matter? I mean, I, I know with the zest it doesn't matter. But will it matter with the with the cherries and stuff if we put it in when it's still hot? No, it's not really. Oh, okay. But uh, do you want more? Yeah, put a little more. Wait, it's at room temperature, so here. Wait, that it one is. escaped. Okay. And and maybe I'll put the honey later. You see, it's cooling off. It's wow. thickening a little bit already. We'll You've sure made you soup go, and you, you use tapioca. You yes, at La Potagerie. Really like. Yeah. Morning, morning soup with tapioca. Yeah. Which is one of definitely okay. my favorites. Do I get a spoon? Can I taste it? Well, is it he's done? Is it ready? Well, <laughs> you want to eat him at around room temperature, you know, so. Mm, it's good. It's good? It's really good. So I the, really like the lime. Uh, put the honey in it. Remember, there is no sugar so far, right. so I want to stir it. Watch out, yeah. I think I'll just hold on to this. And then we'll slice a banana in here? Yeah, then we're gonna slice a couple of bananas. I think this is really nice. How is the temperature? It's, it's cooling down. It's nice. It's lukewarm? It's lukewarm now. But look I mean, warm. I know that you would want it. You'd want it cooler. Well, I think, about, about, about room temperature, look warm. Yeah, that's good. Okay, let me test it. I think you're gonna be very pleased. Oh yeah, that's it. It's not even. Yeah. I think it's practically cool. So there, banana. Okay, you slice banana. I'm gonna get you a glass of wine. No, you slice a banana. Okay. And I slice a banana. <laughs> you need a knife. I would, I, yes, I would be very grateful. I'll take this little one. Please don't tell me it's a race, because <laughs> I've already lost. Ooh. You know what? If mom ever looks for this knife, it might be gone. I like it. That's nice. That knife is very good, yes. Okay. And I'm doing the slow motion version. I do. I feel like I'm your instant replay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Titin. All right. I think that's probably enough. Yes. Maybe I'll put a little strip of that on top. Oh, nice. Let's maybe do a... Oh, I thought you were going to do that thing where you cut it and then you fold it through, which I've... Oh, I forget about really it. Really tried to do a couple times and I can't. Oh, you can leave it like that, Titin, Oh, that'll yeah. be nice. And uh, a spoon. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so the, good. The, it the smells kid, so good. Yeah, the kids li like this, you know. The adults like it too. Okay. <laughs> Whoop. That's it. Good. And this is the tapioca banana coconut pudding. Mm -hmm. The best way to really know people is by talking and sharing food at the table. Absolutely. Happy cooking. Happy cooking. Let's have some wine. Yes. Good. <laughs>
Visit our website at kqed.org slash morefastfoodmyway to learn more about Jacques Pepin. You can watch shows online, view extra clips of Jacques in the Kitchen, print selected recipes from the series, and meet some of the people behind the scenes. Call 1-800-937-5387 or log on to channel9store.com to order the book with over 100 recipes and color photographs for $32 plus shipping or to order the complete series of all 26 shows on DVD for $39.99 plus shipping. Production funding for this series has been brought to you by Cuisinart, with the next generation of food processors. From bread dough, to pizza, to stir fries, we do the work to save you time. Cuisinart, the next generation. And by Scharfenberger, makers of fine artisan dark chocolates, recipes available at scharfenberger.com. And by Spectrum Organics, the purveyor of fine culinary oils and condiments, Spectrum, the taste of goodness. And by OXO Good Grips, makers of kitchen tools that make everyday living easier. A KQED television production.